Hello students, today we will study the topic that is symbols for electrical components or circuit symbols. We know that a circuit, a circuit, the electrical circuit, it is the closed and continuous path for the flow of current. Fine. So in that one electrical circuit, we are using the electrical components like cell, a battery or a switch or a electric bulb, ammeter, the voltmeter. So different kinds of electrical components we are using in electrical circuit. Fine. So here it is difficult to sketch those electrical, electrical components in the electric circuit. So here the scientists they have decided to make some easy symbols in order to represent those electrical symbols so here are the those electrical component symbols first one is a cell this is the electrical component the symbol for the electrical component is here this is the positive terminal this is the negative terminal SL it is the device which will convert the chemical energy into the electrical energy this is the circuit symbol for the electric cell here we have two parallel vertical lines here we have two parallel vertical lines one is thin and longer that is positive terminal and another one is thick it is thick and short that is negative terminal of the cell fine are you getting this one so here this is thin and long fine whereas this one it is thick it is thick and short so this will be the symbol for the electric cell let's move to the second one battery battery here a battery is a combination of number of cells look at here how I am going to draw this one this is the one single cell okay this single cell let I have one more one more cell fine now this is negative and this is here positive and this will be negative so here I have combined two cells so combination of two or more cell is a battery note that the uh, the negative terminal of the first cell the negative terminal of the first cell it should be connected to the positive terminal of the second cell. Got it. Third one. Connecting wire. Connecting wire. So in order to uh, connect the components with one another, we will use the wires. And those wires are represented by the symbol this one just uh, a line that is the connecting wire fourth one a wire joint a wire joint what is the meaning of this one look at you so I have taken one wire if I taken one more wire and I have joined here I have joined with this one wire so 
at that time uh, to represent that one that is the wire joint to represent that one we will use the this one symbol next a wire crossing without 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 contact so here is one wire there is one more wire that wire is crossing this wire without contact it means without joining that one wire it is passing so at that time we will use the this symbol next a open switch a open switch so switch this is the symbol for the open switch we have one more symbol this one so this symbol will represent the open switch next a closed switch a closed switch so here in closed switch we will have this one so totally it will be joined this will be the closed switch or we have one more this one so just i have to be i need to be put one dot here so this symbol these two symbol will represent the closed switch next ammeter okay now ammeter you know already it is the device which measures the electric current in the circuit so this symbol will be the symbol for ammeter next is voltmeter so voltmeter symbol is like this that is the voltmeter it is the device which measures the potential difference in a circuit between the two points so this symbol will be the uh, symbol for the voltmeter next galvanometer galvanometer so the galvanometer symbol is this one okay the galvanometer symbol is this one that is the galvanometer it is the device it is the device it is the device which detects the presence of electric current in the circuit whether in the circuit the current is there or not in order to detect that one we will use the device called as galvanometer okay now next electrical component is electric bulb electric bulb so the symbol for the electric bulb is this one next is a fixed a fixed resistance a fixed resistance or we will call this one as resistor in next topic we will uh, come to know what is the meaning of resistance and the resistor now presently just to remember the symbol so this symbol is the symbol for the resistor next is a variable a variable resistance 
a variable resistance or we will call this one as rheostat. So this is the symbol for the variable resistance or we have one more symbol. So this symbol will be the variable resistance. Look at here, I have written the one more device that is a rheostat. Okay, that is rheostat uh, regarding rheostat. Now just I will uh, tell you the definition for the rheostat that is without changing the voltage, we will change the current in the circuit. So that work will be done by the rheostat. So later we will deal with that one. Now next will be, okay. So these are the, some of the electrical components, the circuit symbol, which are used in the electrical circuit. Thank you.